If you wanted to create a counting effect like this inside of After Effects, I'm gonna show you the easiest method by far to getting exactly what you're looking for and give you some free drag and drop solutions at the very end. Okay guys, so to start here, I have a blank After Effects project and to begin with, all I'm gonna do is hit Control or Command T to bring up my text tool and then just click and type in anything. It can be a number or it can be a word, anything you want. It doesn't matter because what we're gonna do next is gonna automatically change it to numbers. Go to your effects and presets. And if you can't find that, just go up to window, effects and presets, and then search for slider control. From here, we're gonna drag and drop it onto our text layer and nothing should happen yet. Here's where the magic happens, so follow along. Let's go down to our text layer here and twirl this option down. And here you should see source text. There's a little spiral here and we're just gonna click and drag it from our source text here to the slider controls effect. You can do that either from right here within the drop down menu or you can drag it up to the effects controls section here, whatever you prefer. And now once we've done that, you can see that when we move our slider control to a new number, it changes our text as well. Click it and type in a very specific number to get exactly what you want. Great, but there is a problem. If we keyframe this, say that I wanted to start from zero and go to 100, we can see that when we press play, it has almost every single decimal place variation imaginable, which is not what we want. You probably want just round numbers. So all we're gonna do is go back up to our source text and under expressions, we can see here that there's an expression generated for us linking the text to the slider. We're just gonna make one quick change to make it a normal round number. All you have to do is type in this at the very end of the expression, dot value, dot two fixed with a capital F, and then open parentheses, zero, close parentheses. And if you just wanted to copy paste, I've actually left this in the description down below, so you can just copy and paste it right after your expression. And now we can see that our keyframed slider numbers are only rounded numbers. Perfect, exactly what I need. Now, I'll show you how to tweak this to get even more awesome options, but if you're getting value out of this, hit like and subscribe and let's keep going. Now, let's say for example, that instead of wanting perfectly round numbers, you actually wanted two decimal places. Like say for example, you're working with money and you wanna show the dollars and the cents. The reason I like this expression I've shown you is because it's really easy to change this up. All we have to do is change this number here that says zero in our expression to the number of decimal places we want. So if we change it from zero to one, it gives us one decimal place. And then if we type in two, it gives us two and literally as many as you want. And this is great, but if we really wanted this to be dollars and cents, we wanna show a number sign at the very beginning that's not changing, but it's still attached to everything that we're doing. Thankfully, that's super easy too. All you have to do is this. At the very beginning of your expression before anything else, just add this, quote, dollar sign, quote, and then the plus symbol. Super easy. And again, I added this as a copy paste option in the description below. And if you wanted to switch out the number sign for another symbol, something like an exclamation mark or a hashtag or even an entire word before your numbers, all you have to do is change out the dollar sign for whatever you want to be in front. That's awesome. But chances are, if you're working with this, you may also wanna do something like work with percentages from zero to 100. In which case, you're not gonna want a symbol at the beginning, you're gonna want a symbol at the end. Well, you probably guessed it, that's just as easy. Just type in the same thing, but at the very end. So I'll get rid of this prefix at the beginning. And now at the very end here, after my expression, I'm just gonna add plus, quote, percentage sign, quote. And I'm gonna change the number of decimals back from two to zero. So now I'm working with whole percentages. And that's it, super easy. You're basically coding inside of After Effects. But the last thing I'll leave you with is just a quick tip to take this one step further. Let's say we wanted to make this cinematic by starting quick and then slowing down as we get closer to 100%. Well, we can add an easy ease to the keyframe here by right clicking and selecting keyframe assistant, easy ease in. And that helps a bit, but if we highlight this keyframe and click the graph editor here, we can pull this handle out so that we can slowly ramp into the final value. So we'll just extend this as far as we can and then pull the keyframe out while holding shift so that we add a little bit of drama as it reaches the final value. And now you fully know how to create a counter effect, how to change the number of decimal places and how to add prefixes and suffixes. 
And the best part is that I've left a link in the description to where you can download a preset version of this effect 100% for free. They're all labeled to give you exactly what you need right from the get-go. There's a bunch of options set up with percentage counters and dollar sign counters. And there's even options to include commas if that's the stylistic choice that you want. Like I mentioned, the link to those free presets is in the description below. And if you wanted to learn even more inside of After Effects, you can take a look at this tutorial right here.